the constitutional right to privacy in modern science and technology. Of course, the Constitution doesn't say anything about privacy directly. It, it protects us all from the government. It's only protection from the government from unreasonable searches and seizures. Well, what does that mean? When is a search or seizure unreasonable? I, I described a bunch of circumstances where the kind of this kind of issue would come up. Science and technology permit others to, to learn intimate details about us by monitoring the locations of our cars and cell phones, recording our telephone calls, videotaping our activities, reading our emails, obtaining our DNA, collecting megadata bases of our internet activity, and more. There's all that exists. When the government wants to find out some of that, what limits are there on the government finding that out? Well, what does the Fourth Amendment say? It, it, it gives us the right to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures. So what does that mean? What does that mean? How do we find out what's an unreasonable search and seizure? In the end, how do we find out? We ask the Supreme Court, or the Supreme Court ends up telling us. Um, what I'm going to do in the, in the class is for the first couple classes go through a bunch of fairly recent cases about what the Supreme Court has said about when there's an airplane way over your head or the police have a machine that they can shine on the side of your house and tell what the temperature is inside your house so they know whether you're making, you know, uh, what is it you're making? Math? Math. Math, yeah. I thought that's what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 they they want to find out. Um, they put a, put a GPS thing on your car and track where you're going. So for the first couple of classes, what we'll do is we'll look at the Supreme Court decisions on those issues and see how they decided them. Um, and then after that, we'll look at a particular case that I found that is one that the court might be hearing this term. They're not, but they could have been. Um, and if you look at, well, let me just read this to you. It's on the handout if some of you picked that up. Um, whenever your cell phone is on, not that you're making a call, but whenever it's on, okay, your carrier is keeping track of your exact location. They know by triangulating from the different towers exactly even what floor you're on. Um, and they keep these records. So for the last two months, they can tell exactly where you were every second that you had your phone on, whether you were using it or not. So what if the government wants those records? Can, the, can they just ask the, the uh, um, carrier to give them to them? <coughs> Well, they can. I mean, they can ask, right? It turns out that it turns out that there's a statute. Congress has passed a statute which gives them the right to ask for that. Um, so, what we're going to do in the class for the last couple classes is we're going to do the Supreme Court. Class members are going to be members of the Supreme Court, or class members are going to be lawyers arguing to the Supreme Court. We'll study this case that has this issue in it, and you'll see that it's not as complicated as you think, because there's only a few Supreme Court cases that really bear on this. Um, and then we'll have an oral argument, and some of you will be the lawyers arguing to the Supreme Court, some of you will be the play the roles of the Supreme Court, and then you'll decide the case and, and give your reasons for doing it. And, that's, and, and I think by doing it that way, you'll get a real understanding of, of how the law is made in, in, in this area. Uh, so that's my story, and uh, I'm sticking to it. <laughs>